Fedora is a widely used uh, open source operating system that mainly comes in two distributions. The first being the workstation edition and the second being the uh, server edition. In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up Fedora Workstation 39, which is the latest version at the time of recording of this video on VMware Fusion 13. Before we begin, let's take a look at an overview of the steps covered in this tutorial. First, I'll show you how to download Fedora 39. Then I'll show you how to uh, create the virtual machine in VMware Fusion. And finally, I'll show you how to start the virtual machine and complete the uh, installation. So I'm going to start by running a Google search for Fedora and then click on the first Fedora Linux search result. Scroll down and then click on the download now link on the Fedora workstation section. And then finally, you just need to simply click on the download link for the uh, ISO file. In this case, my Mac is Intel based, so I'm just going to select the Intel and AMD x86-64 systems uh, download link. So once the download is complete, I'm going to open up uh, VMware Fusion and then click on the plus icon. Select new, and then I'm just going to select the install from disk image option. Click on the use another disk or disk image option, and then browse to the location where the Fedora workstation ISO is located. Click on open, and you should see the ISO selected. So I'm just going to click on continue, and then I'll select the uh, firmware type. So in this case, I'm just going to select UEFI, and then select the customize settings button. So I'm going to set the name for the virtual machine. So in this case, it's going to be Fedora Workstation 39 uh, VM. And from here, you can just simply start the uh, uh, virtual machine. So click on the start icon, and you should see a, option, a prompt for selecting the uh, 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 Fedora workstation uh, boot mode. So I've, I've selected the live uh, option, which then allows you to actually start the installation. So I'm going to select uh, my language and location and then click on uh, continue. So here you need to select the uh, drive where you want to install the operating system. So I'm just going to select the virtual drive and then click on uh, done. So simply click on the begin installation button and as you can see the uh, Fedora 39 uh, installation is now in progress. So this can take a bit of some time depending on the performance of the host computer as well as the hardware uh, provision to the virtual machine. So I'm just going to wait for the process to complete and once it's done we're going to restart the uh, virtual machine and then complete the post installation setup. So the final steps for the installation are now in progress. And as you can see, we can now click on the finish installation button. So I'm just going to do that now. And I should be able to actually power off the virtual machine. So click on the power icon and then select the power off uh, option. So select power off and we should be uh, presented with the VMware Fusion uh, menu page. So I'm going to uh, change some settings on the virtual machine. So right click on the virtual machine and click on settings. Select CD DVD and then I'm just going to set that to auto detect. So basically I'm just removing the Fedora ISO image file. So once that's done, I'm then going to power up the virtual machine again. And we should be able to complete a few steps that are required. So I'm just going to click on start setup and then click on next on the privacy section. I'm just going to choose not to enable the third-party repositories and then I'll just click on the skip section for the connect your online accounts. Of course, you can do this if you'd like. I'm going to specify my username and password and once that's done, you can click on next and you should see an all done message. So I'll just click start using Fedora and I'll choose not to take the tour. So that's been it guys, that's a quick look at uh, how to set up Fedora Workstation 39 on VMware Fusion 18. Please consider to like and subscribe to the channel and please also share this video with your peers, colleagues and friends. I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.